What's up fellow Saiyans and welcome to episode 15 of our Marvel Mini Paints. Today we're going to be doing Dark Phoenix and as you can see I have her masked up with masking tape under the translucent parts with a phoenix force behind her and I use uniform gray to mask her up. She's a villain so you'll be playing against her. Start off with barbarian flesh for her face. Next for her outfit. We're going to be doing Dragon Red. It's the base coat. And all, as always with red, it takes a couple coats. Next for her hair, we're going to be using a mix of pure red and lava orange. And this is like, it's kind of hard to get her hair. Even like even like the back of her, like because you don't want to get any on the masking, there's still parts you can't necessarily mask off directly behind her. You really don't want to get any of the paint on the translucent phoenix. It's, I don't know. When I'm finished with this, you'll kind of see what I'm talking about. There's still some spots that I may even go over in the future again just to cover up. It's just really hard to get back behind her onto the phoenix. This is the first video that I haven't pre-recorded that I've actually been conscious of filming where I'm filming. But we're going to be using demonic yellow to go with the other parts, like where the golden parts for outfit are. We're going to use gold over top of it later, but first we're going to put down a yellow base for it. But yeah, I mean, I, I actually was more conscious on this one where I was placing the camera so that you guys, the viewers, could actually see what I'm doing instead of my knuckles covering up everything. It's just with this one, unfortunately, with all the masking tape, it's kind of hard to see any much whenever it's turned. <laughs> up the hair again. Where the phoenix is and everything. Try to separate the yellow from the red. For her eyes, we're going to use moon dust. Next. 
Knights. We're using greedy gold over top of all the demonic yellow we put down. This will give her the gold, the nice gold shine in the outfit that she always has. It's time to take off all the masking tape. I can try to get some details up underneath where the tape was. For the base below her, we're going to be using dry rust. Now once that's all dry, then it's time to start your washing process. We're going to start with a flesh wash for her face. And just a tiny bit is all you need. Next with the hair, we'll be using soft tone. Now for everything else on her, for her whole suit, we're gonna be using strong tone. And I thought about going dark tone because of the gold, but I, I don't know, I just didn't wanna to put too much dark in there. She wouldn't really see what's, the, you know, all the details. Like you could even see with the strong tone. in with her with a barbarian flesh for her skin for the highlights after your wash is dry this just gives it a little little lighter shade to it now 
going to be using this glow orange paint, this folk art. And this, I'm going to start painting her phoenix with this, with the translucent phoenix. And like, it, it doesn't stick on very well. I'm going to put a little bit on her eyes first. But I'm going to use this later for the phoenix. It doesn't apply very well, and you got to keep going over it. But, but uh, for the highlights on the red on her suit, I'm going to use pure red. Hit it just where the light shines on her. Oh, I'm gonna use lava orange for some of the base, like riding up into the Phoenix, because of that you can see that the uh, uniform gray primer is so still there. And I'm also gonna use that as the highlight to her hair as well. You can see I'm dry brushing it onto her hair. When you're doing the base, the parts that are primed up that you got hit by the primer that you actually have to cover up aren't bad but when you actually go over the translucent part with that like the glow paint you got to go over it a lot to get it anything to stick at all because there's no primer at all It's a bunch of repeated sessions of paint it, let it sit and dry, paint it, let it sit and dry, paint it, let it sit and dry. For the highlights on the gold, though, while that dries, we're going to use moon dust again. I'm also using this same thing, folk art glow paint, but at this kind of time it's a yellow. I'm gonna be mixing it this into the Phoenix as well. And like I said, when I'm done with this, I like even when I look at it now afterwards, I still might eventually go back over and add another coat of paint or of the glow variety, or I might even go back to like using glob orange and yellow. I don't know that uniform gray primer kind of screwed me up a little bit same thing with the back of the figure it's just really hard to get back there And that's pretty much going to be it as far as it goes as 
for Dark Phoenix for me. For the pain, you get a close up here in a second. I'd like to thank you guys all for watching this video. Uh, subscribe if you want notified of upcoming videos. If you want to follow me on Twitch or Facebook, uh, you can catch live painting sessions when I'm doing this. And uh, thanks for watching. And later, Saiyans.